Well, sticking with AI, here's the under the radar play you may not have heard of before. Iron is a data center company powered by renewable energy that houses GPUs for power dense computing like Bitcoin mining. And it's the latest name in the crypto eco ecosystem to make a move into AI. And the company reported Q4 results this week, recently hired Morgan Stanley to evaluate the monetization opportunity in the AI data center market. Shares are up 50% over the past 12 months. And joining us now in an exclusive interview is Iron co-founder and co-CEO Dan Roberts. Dan, welcome to the show. Morgan, thanks for having me. So you started life as a Bitcoin miner. I realize that that's... Your main business here, but this AI opportunity, how are you thinking about it, especially at a time where your data center capacity, at least some of it as it comes online, is up for grabs? Yeah, look, absolutely. We, we majority of our revenues to date have been through Bitcoin mining, but Iron was founded with my brother Will in 2018. And fundamentally, we set it up to solve the challenge around power in the digital world which grows at an exponential rate. You've got all these exponential demand drivers, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's AI, whether it's some future technology tomorrow. So our vision was to build a power dense next generation data center platform to monetize it. So today we're operating Bitcoin mining machines right next to latest generation NVIDIA chips training AI models. So we just mentioned that you're working with Morgan Stanley. Are you in talks with hyperscalers or with other prospective customers to bring on some of that AI compute in your facilities? Yeah, look, we are, absolutely. I can't go into details. We're live in a process at the moment. But one of the features of our business is we have 2,300 megawatts of power and land secured. To put that in perspective, that is more than three times the aggregate capacity of all the data centers in Silicon Valley and San Jose combined. So it's a lot of power, it's a lot of land, it's got a lot of future applications. So the opportunity to explore partners and alternative ways to monetize that is something we're really excited about. I'm seeing this 100% uh, renewable energy approach. How's it possible to do that in scale? Yeah, that's been fundamental to our business since day one, and it actually goes a step further. Not only do we only use 100% renewable energy, we will only enter energy markets where the introduction of our demand for energy is solving public market problems. So in Texas, where the majority of our power is, we're able to respond live time to high power prices and curtail our compute. So we're almost a demand side battery. So when the wind stops blowing, the sun stops shining, there's a network outage, some other weather event, and power prices peak and demand for energy goes up, we're able to automatically put our computers to sleep, give that energy back to the grid for the benefit of the con consumers. Mm. Uh, and as I mentioned, the Bitcoin mining, and we've had Bitcoin pretty range bound, especially after the halving we saw earlier this year. Your outlook for Bitcoin and how should we be thinking about the state of the mining ecosystem right now, especially as you do see more of the infrastructure that's out there starting to shift gears and dedicate towards things like AI? Yeah, look, ultimately, we're building the picks and shovels. We own the land, the data set capacity, access to all this renewable energy. The ability to monetize this in various different computing applications is really exciting. But fundamentally, we are very positive on the future of Bitcoin. We wouldn't be expanding to become one of the largest listed miners in the world if we didn't have a constructive look. Uh, we have gone 8x in capacity since the start of last year two and a half X since the start of this year. And we're going to double again in the next 120 days. So we're very constructive on it. And I think when we look at Bitcoin, yes, it's volatile, but in order to grow from zero to over a trillion dollars of value in the space of 15 years, you need volatility. And if you think about Bitcoin as gold 2.0, scarcity, durability, transferability, all those objective characteristics that give gold value, Bitcoin is better. It's just building its track record. And if one day Bitcoin happens to catch up to gold in terms of the overall value and market capitalization, we're looking at around $1 million per Bitcoin. When that happens, who knows? But it's a really good asset. We're really positive on it.